Hola, my amigos. Sorry that the vlogs are getting a little behind, but hopefully by um, Thursday they'll be back on track. So, um, yesterday's vlog should be posted today, and then obviously today's vlog should get posted today too but if i don't get to it it'll get posted tomorrow anyway um today i have a lot to talk about so yesterday i talked about the class of 2020 today I like to share with you guys a story. So I this is very very hard to say because I've been through so 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 much and honestly my my condition that I have in some other condition that these doctors think I have, thanks to psychology, I don't have that. Um, it was just a, um, a genetic setback due to my... my back so as you guys may or may not know I have or had scoliosis I still have the scar I um I am now healed and I'm completely straight I'm still growing um, once I lose the, and I'm also overweight, but that doesn't really matter because I'm basically skinny now, but once I lose all the fat that I need to, I reach my maximum height, but I'll never reach six feet because, I mean, I could, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> um... So, basically, scoliosis is where, like, your, um, it can happen to anyone, just, like, there's not really a scientific reason as to why it happens to some people and why it doesn't happen to other people but um i am gonna say that when i was three months i was diagnosed with scoliosis and i'm sitting here 20 years later and I'm I'm fine. I'm completely fine. My last surgery was January of 2017 and it was it was the biggest surgery I had. And that was a really really hard one for me because after after the surgery I had a pretty big panic attack. I honestly, I couldn't feel anything. I couldn't feel any of my bones. I barely could feel my hands, barely could feel my back, barely could feel just everything, just about everything. It was so, so hard. And, um... It's 
it's not it was not easy for me so I thank God every day that I'm alive and I'm able to share things with you guys without even crying and I mean that is an emotional thing for me and I I literally got I got bullied for having a brace I got I got laughed at for going on the tourney, um, the tourney thing on the playground, the funnest little slide thing, but I did get stuck because the cast, no, the voice didn't really allow me to move, so I couldn't even that was hard and but it's it's okay I'm okay that that happened because it's something that you know I learned to not not um get mad over so I wanted to talk to you guys about that and I also want to show you guys my room okay change of scenery here so right there is my um, cross-country photo from last year <sighs> These are some Lego Lions, um, Lego Voltron. I built it. The black lion's head broke. Um, the yellow lion's in the box right now. But this is the photos from Cross Country, my senior year. That was our motto right there. Work in silence. Um, this right here is me with my best friend, Sarah, from um, at Palm when we went to Palm. I miss her so much. And then that's me and the boys when. Um, we had a pool party. Here is me. I'm wanting. They caught me wanting. Uh, well, sprinting, I say. And that was my best time. 2021. And this is my band senior photo. I'm wearing a saxophone and I'm with my parents but I like cross country more and then here's another photo of me with um, my cross country jersey too bad I couldn't keep it and here was a gift from my um, my coach and it has one of the greatest quotes that keeps me going every day. The measure of who we are is what we do with what we have. Vince, L Vince Lombardi said that. And then that's my P when I got uh, the P I got from band. Um, wasn't supposed to be up there. But it was put up there anyway. And then class of 2019, because that's the year I graduated from high school. This is my closet. This is my favorite recliner chair. This is a, um, a pillow that says, without music, 
life would be flat. And then this is just a tray with a lot of notebooks. This is other notebooks and comic books. And this is my stack of books that I still have to read. And I have a whole bookshelf with other books that I probably haven't read in like so long. And um, those are also in my reading list. Oh. And this is the inside of my bearder. As you see, I have more than one Rubik's Cube. I have my 5x5 five five and my 4x5 five in here. And I also have my 5x5 five five safe. But I forgot how to open it. So, that's closed. And that's my whole entire series of Magic Treehouse. And another thing that I love about my room is my, I believe that's my, no, that's, that's, um, my honor wall when I got high on a wall. And then that was my lake view student of the month. And then that right there is my coach award. From cross country. So when you put your mind to things. You will get what you want. And that was the tour of my womb. I hope you guys enjoyed my little story. And enjoyed the tour of my womb. Tomorrow will be another vlog. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe... Maybe I'll do a little origami tutorial for you guys. So that'll be fun. Um, or I might do a day in my life. And next week I'll do a week in my life of a college student during quarantine. Because um, summer semester at Sea State just started. But Willie... I'm not at C State right now. I transferred to the um I transferred to the bunk unit. I transferred to DU. I'm just gonna call it Dorm University for now. Anyway, uh, so that was my tour, the st that was my story, so, um, tomorrow I might do a book review, my due day in my life, not too sure, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed my, s my vlog, and yesterday's vlog, and hopefully you'll get tomorrow's vlog on time, even though these two vlogs were posted late, Hopefully, tomorrow's gets posted on time. Sorry about the lateness. I will try to get back on the schedule and keep it on track. So sorry, guys. But please like, comment, subscribe. Bye.